Hey there, people. My name is Tagori, and welcome back to Moro Kami. We've just finished gathering up all the ingredients that we need for this uh, appetizer. So let's give them to the chef. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the secret ingredients? Wow, you're good. I just knew you'd make the perfect assistant. Anyways, we're kind of in a hurry. Gave him the eyeball and the black demon horn. With each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord Orochi shall deepen. Okay, now I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. Ta-da! Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers, guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece, Dung Heap Slime Bucket Goulash! Shall make that main course kushi taste 1,000 times better. Well, you must keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean Bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain on Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Excellent. So, this bell that we were told not to ring was it only last episode? I feel like it was two episodes ago. Anyway, gotta ring it. Ring it. <laughs> no? What? Excuse me? It was right, let the bell ring out. I let it ring as many times as Lord Orochi has heads. Ringing the bell is normally my job, but seeing as you've done, uh, there's just been each and ringing all this time, I'll let you do it with the honors. Put your good body and evil soul into it. They ring out with the wild ab abandon. How many times did I ring it? There we go. How is the soup stored in there? <laughs> All right. Now we need to get up there ourselves. Whew, that was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord Orochi's throne room. There's something about that place that just terrifies me. Sorry, pal, but would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? What? Are you insane? Oh, come on, please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. What? We're just Lord Orochi's lowly underlings. Lord Orochi will surely gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. Really want to see the throne room that bad? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to the throne room if you want to go that bad. After all, I was born to operate this elevator. Yes, you were. So I've certainly noticed that. I should take things more slowly. I need to not read as fast, or at least not try to. Or rather, try not to. Whose life is <laughs> I, I've even noticed it in this episode. That guy's just a normal merchant. And this is a safe gate. Cool. That means something evil. Okay. Any day now, how much farther? Oh my god. Okay. Jesus. Freaking. Okay, here we go. What, they just drop it off? 
<laughs> just, they just like huck it in there? How's anyone supposed to like get out of here? Ami, look, over there. Well, this certainly doesn't seem good. Alright, Kuchi, stay safe. Even the picture was, like, bleeding. A wild god of the heavens. One hundred years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it you've come back after perishing and turning into stone? One hundred years in a cold, stony tomb. Eureka decay. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. Okay, here's where the fight really starts. Oh no. So each one of his heads uh, acts differently. Excuse me? Yeah, that was a circle. I guess I just had to hit it. <laughs> that cheater has a barrier up. What are we gonna do now? Any bright ideas, Furball? Kushi? Run, Kushi, run! Hold it right there, vile serpent. Susano, you came. I knew you'd come. Have no fear. Susano is here. Orochi and I have a score to settle. Pops? Long have I awaited your coming, O descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept us imprisoned here for 100 years. Yet, it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi, shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. What the heck Serpent Breath talking about? A blood pact with Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. But now, the time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. Speak the words. I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me and seal our blood pact. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Roshi's trying to tempt Susano. Bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now, utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pact. Oh, I shall.
I am the descendant of Nagi. Behold, Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Hear me, vile serpent, who would seek to harm helpless woman. A helpless woman? Fuck. Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. It's made of wood. What? Foolish beast. Did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. If it is fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Nagi is all I require to slay you. Glittering gold sake. Is that the eight purification sake Ami? Does that mean that Susano broke the barrier by himself with his sword? Susano and Kishi made a miracle happen. Time to work your magic, Ami. All right. So as I was saying, hold on. Right. Your stupid face doesn't scare us, you big worm. Quick, Ami, the sake! Shoot the eight purification sake right into Orochi's gaping mouth. What? Can I get both of these in a circle? Whoops, that was not a circle. That was... Okay, you know what? Here. Since you want this, I'll give you that. Okay. Come on. Enough with the cutscenes. I know what to do. It's working! <laughs> Take that, you big worm. Keep it coming, Ami. Okay, so I need to bloom this real fast. No, get. There we go. There we go. These are real close together. Maybe I can get them both now? That was not even close. That was not even close either. What is going on? Look, that's one down. Don't stop there. Let's get the other heads drunk too. Okay. Well, I am just gonna avoid... This is the weirdest fight ever. So, um, normally, I'm able to just fight one at a time. You know what? Here. Tools. Infinity Stone. We have all the ink we can use. So with that, it crashes down, and we should... Yeah, it's telling us to get on the Hydra's back. Get up on the Hydra's back. Go, Ami, go. Oh, wait, can we just walk up anyone? We can. So we need to beat this bell. What? That went down a lot faster than I remember it. Well, the barrier's down. And we've done damage. There we go. Are you kidding me? The worm's down. Looks like that barrier has finally dissolved. And if that's the case... And you're free to finish Orochi off with your weapons and brush. So we can just wail on him as much as possible. And since we have unlimited ink right now... What you got? Come on. There we go. 
That's what I'm looking for. Drink up, buddy. Two down! So that was fire and then earth. Now this is poison, I guess. The weirdest wind I've ever drawn, but it worked out. Okay. Well, my infinity stone has run out. Okay, 20 hits. Easy. That was the poison head. Ow. Roar. Come on, roar. There we go. I think this is the head of light. Boom, jeez. I'm making short work of this. Head of uh, electricity? Head of thunder, technically. Ow, the fire. It burns. Perfect. Just open your mouth. This is obviously the head of fire, uh, head of water. Boom. 20 hits easy. Head of wind, I believe. Dropping. So I do remember my first time fighting this guy. It uh, did not go as easy as this. I was definitely very confused as to what to do, and I don't. I just I didn't play as well. So all the heads are down. Time has come. O oh, sacred moon of the heavens, come forth and pierce this darkness. Bear witness to the beast's demise upon my trusty sword, Tohen Boku. Did you say moon? Right, the legend says the moon was shining when Nagi slew Orochi. Aha! No moon. So let's put the moon there ourselves. I love it. It's beautiful. Susano style, Blade of Truth! Good. Will! Never! Give! In! Two! Evil. I didn't actually think I got that. Finish it off, Ami. 
No, Fido. I don't need your help this time. Now for the ultimate in Sustano style martial arts. Celestial Cleaver! Dearest Kushi, just as you devote your life to socket ruin, the way of the sword is all I know, and I have failed, for I unleashed that foul beast upon the world. I allowed evil to cloud my judgment. Who am I to claim the right to wield the sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Susana, why do you look so serious? Come on, laugh like you normally do. Looking like that is what makes monsters turn up. So come on, laugh. Laugh like you do when you help me harvest the rice every year. <laughs> and what do we have here? You obtain divine instrument. Sumugari. Hold and release button for charged attack with Orochi's Glaive. And so it came to pass that, 100 years after its first defeat, the dreadful Orochi succumbed to Amaterasu and Susanoo's onslaught. As the foul breath left Orochi's twisted body, the curse lifting, a powerful sword known as Sumugari appeared. It was the re reborn form of Tsukuyomi, which had been consumed by Orochi. Armed with this new blade, Amaterasu pre prepared for further adventure. At that moment, a mysterious evil force emerged from Orochi's corpse, splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky. At that time, no one had any inkling as to just what that force was. The truth is, the real calamity and chaos had yet to visit the world. But for the time being, Kamiki found itself enjoying a new era of peace. Our story, however, is far from over. In fact, it's just beginning. That's right, Ami. We're just getting started. I mean, we can't let a great adventure simply end like this. Now give me one of those famous victory howls of yours. Famous? But I agree! That howl. Wow, I did pretty good. Time and damage. And we get Serpent Breath as an achievement. At last. At last the time has come. The inseverable bond between heaven and earth. Waka, the situation has grown urgent. We must return to the city at once. Trebian. Amaterasu, you may have slain Orochi this time, but do not assume it will be so easy the next. Check out that starry sky. I know they're up there somewhere, my furry friend. Those constellations of the Brush Gods are just waiting to be found. Oh, 
Whoa. That must have been one of Thomas' fireworks. I wonder if the villagers already found out that Orochi's dead. Oh, I know. It must be the festival. They just started the annual Kamiki Festival. Oh, yeah. Time to party, Furball. Back to the village. Hurry! Let's check out what's happening around this village. We've saved the town! What's this? People are drinking. Mr. Bamboo. I guess they've come from far and wide. Have I met- oh, it's uh, the two dogs. Have I mentioned I love this song? And just in general, the soundtrack to this game it's really incredible it's very atmospheric it really sets the mood so like this obviously it's a very cheerful time something for celebration and this music it really proves it what do we got up here mr orange doing his dance been watched by two old ladies. Where can I jump off? Can I? Can I jump? Ooh! How do I? How do I get that? How do I get that? No. All right. I'm gonna try one more time. If I can't get it, oh well. That is auto jump. My timing. Alright, I'll come back for that later. I wonder if Sakuya has anything to say, though. Oh, Tama. Nice. Great Mother Okami Amaterasu, I am filled with unbridled joy at your safe return. It would appear the final chapter of Orochi has been written. The entire village is in your debt. Please accept their thanks. That said, for a splendid evening, and I'm feeling a bit intoxicated by the festival spirit. Not how I thought. Not what I thought you were gonna say. Anyway, what else is there to do here? Okay, yes, it's bothering me. <laughs> it's bothering me that there's a there. Oh yes! Gimme! I gotta actually get up there for that stray bead. Which really isn't worth it now, is it? Yeah. Anyway. We can talk to everyone in the town, but I'm pretty sure that they'll just be like, wow, we're happy. You did a good job. Where are Susano and Kushi? Are they not back yet? Well, let's just go. We've got a lot ahead of us. A long journey. Where do you think you're going? It's party time, Furball. I mean, the Kamiki Festival's only once a year. Let's cut loose. Can we not? Well, right there. Does the word festival ring a bell? Come on, it's party time. Let's have some fun. I want to. What do you have, ants in your pants? Oh yeah, you don't have pants. Anyway, why do you keep trying to leave? It's party time. 
Leave the village? Yeah, let's do it. Fine, whatever. The festival's only once a year. But if you want to leave, then you just leave. Why are you always in such a hurry? You do realize you've, you haven't got all your brush skills back yet, don't you? So far you've found nine. Let's see. There's Rejuvenation, Power Slash, Sunrise. Then there's the three-part technique uh, of the gods of the flora, you know. Bloom, Water, Lily, Vine. Which only count as one. And finally, there's Cherry Bomb, Water Spout, Crescent, Gale Storm, and Inferno. I wonder where the other four brush gods are hiding. The remaining four brush techniques are the hardest to find. We've searched all over the countryside already. Now that we've taken care of Orochi and all, maybe it's time we headed out to Capital City. If there are more people, there could be more gods there. Matarasu, you have only just performed your duties, yet you plan to leave. My heart aches at the thought of your separation. Sakia, you didn't have to come all this way just to say goodbye. Boy, you're pretty uptight for a tree spirit. But at the instant of Orochi's passing, I, I quite clearly saw a swirling black mist. In the confusion, I distinctly sensed an evil other than Orochi. I'm not sure what it could be. Is there something else at work? Shinshu has been restored, of that there is no doubt. But nature's torment cries ring out in other parts of Nippon. Especially chilling are those emanating from the capital city. In the Ryoshima coast, beyond the bridge in Taka Pass. Well, we were planning on visiting that place anyway. The black essence born of Orochi's husk. It was moving towards the capital as well. I cannot say for sure exactly what that means. What I do know is that whatever has plunged this world into chaos has not yet finished toying with us. This ordeal is far from over. Is that it? No sage advice for us heroes? My apologies, little one. The challenges you face on your journey will be many. But I know that, though you will grow weary, you will prevail. The road you traveled will be fraught with peril. But I pray that the fresh scent of flora will protect you. Matarasu, Isun, I wish you a safe and fruitful journey. She's gone. A safe and fruitful journey. To what she said? Give me a break. But I always knew getting all the brush techniques wouldn't be easy. On to the capital city. First stop, the city checkpoint at Taka Pass. Yes, I I know. We've we've been there. Thank you, Isun. So, we will go there in the next episode. For now, I hope you've been enjoying this. And please join me again for another episode of Okami. <laughs>